Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on anorectal abscess. An anorectal abscess refers to a collection of pus in the anal or rectal region. They are more common in men than in women, and have high rates of recurrence. One third of patients with an anorectal abscess have an associated perianal fistula at the time of presentation. For pathophysiology, anorectal abscesses are caused by plugging of the anal ducts, which drain the anal glands in the anal wall which normally help to ease the passage of fecal matter using mucus secretions. The blockage of an anal duct results in fluid stasis, which will lead to infection. The common causative organisms include E. coli, Bacteriades species, and Enterococcus species. Anorectal abscesses can be categorized by the area in which they occur. Perianal, which is the most common area, ischiorectal, intersphincteric, and supralevator. For clinical features, Anorectal abscesses present with severe pain in the perianal region, which is worse with direct pressure, for example when sitting down. There might be perianal discharge or bleeding. Severe abscesses may present with systemic features such as fever or rigors, general malaise, or clinical features of sepsis. On examination, there will be a erythematous, fluctuant, tender perianal mass, which may be discharging pus or have surrounding erythema and induration. Deeper abscesses may not have any obvious external signs, however produce severe tenderness on PR examination. This is a picture showing a perianal abscess with overlying skin erythema. It is typically a clinical diagnosis. Majority will require surgical intervention. So routine bloods including full blood count, urea and electrolytes, clotting, and group and screen are typically performed. If there are no other perianal pathology, a HbA1c should be sent to check for any underlying diabetes mellitus. For patients with atypical presentation or in those suspicious for a supralevator abscesses, complex perianal fistula, or perianal Crohn's disease, then additional imaging such as MRI pelvis scan is required. For management, patients should be started on antibiotic therapy and provided with sufficient analgesia. The main management for anorectal abscesses is examination under anesthesia of the rectum and incision and drainage of the abscess. Intraoperative proctoscopy should be performed to check for the presence of any identifiable fistula in onyo. There is another video that will cover on this topic of fistula in onyo, also called perianal fistula. That's all for this video. Thank you.